Today I just wanted to make a really quick video showing you my tissue culture lab setup. This is my favorite room in the entire house. It's also my office. <laughs> if you watched my video, you've seen the laminar flow hood. I use a two by two air science laminar flow hood. And then I have all sorts of storage below it and the pressure cooker is sitting there as well. I buy distilled water from Walmart for my tissue culture, so that's why I have so much of it there. And then I just have the cleaning stuff, so I have ethyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, bleach, aluminum foil, and then I keep this pH reader just in the box because I need the instructions and I also have the... Um, the calibration powder in here as well. I have not found a pH meter I like. I started with the Blue Wave one, which I didn't like because you had to, like, even if you weren't using it, keep it wet every week. And I knew I was just gonna forget to do it, so it didn't really make sense for me personally. I have fungicide, which I use when I acclimatize baby plants to being in soil. And then I keep all the manuals for all my equipment and warranty stuff back there. It's boring. On top of the test tube rack. This container, I just have all sorts of random, I mean, masking tape, 3M tape. Um, I had bought these cork borers for taking samples from African violets, but I find it doesn't really work that well. I'd rather just use scissors or a scalpel. Um, so yeah, there's so much random stuff in this box. A lighter, extra wicks for the alcohol lamp. This is a light meter. I love this thing. If you're not doing tissue culture and you just have plants, this is a super useful tool for trying to figure out if your plants are getting too much or too little light. So I wish I had a little more room to work because this can get a little tight, especially when I'm filming videos, but I have this um, Fisher brand magnetic stirrer. So this controls the hot plate and then this controls the speed at which it stirs. So you actually put this like into the container and then it will mix whatever you're trying to mix up. And then I have an electric scale as well. This one goes to two decimal points, I think. Yeah. And then this back here is just like to check if it's accurate, which it is. For the pH of my tissue culture media, I always just use the regular hydroponic up and down. I find that the easiest. I have a few pipette pumps. This one's from Amazon and it works great. This one's from Phytotech. It was $30 and it's broken, so thanks Phytotech. This is the funnest part, or most fun part. Um, this is everything that I currently have in tissue culture. So I started making these little labels so that I can remember what kind of media they're in and also what kind of plant it is. Um, so I have the watermelon snows, philodendron gloriosum, my first time tissue culturing a philodendron, um, African violet, harmony, lilian, and lace, and then this is Apothos Cebu Blue. I'm just doing that one for practice. I bought the Taruno World Pothos that I showed at the beginning of the video to actually put into tissue culture. These should be ready in about a month to take out of tissue culture. I think they're African Violet RS Operata, but that was from my first ever time trying to do tissue culture, so I was really bad about writing down what I was doing. Okay, so on the upper shelf, I just have these disposable pipettes. So for dealing with the plant growth regulators, I just use these. And then these are little boats for um, powdered ingredients. So those just go on the scale like that. Um, up there is just like fertilizer and stuff. That's not really specific to tissue culture. Um, I've been really liking the vitamin B1. I've been using that for transplanting plants lately and I think it helps. Um, and then these are some of the dry ingredients that don't need to be refrigerated for tissue culture. So I have sugar, charcoal powder, um, technical grade agar, and then um, that's tween 20. I also do packing my Etsy orders in this room, which is why there's a ton of boxes. This whole shelf is kind of boring. It's just storage on the bottom, storage in the middle, storage at the top. <laughs> I did make this tissue culture media yesterday. Ideally, you wouldn't wanna have tons of plants and organic material in the same room where you're doing tissue culture, but I don't have a separate room that I can use just solely for tissue culture. And I mean, I wanna take advantage of this massive window. So I have a ton of plants in here. I said I didn't have any in the Taruno World video, but I did get these three Taruno Pothos. I think it's Fanfare, Carnival, 
and I want to say Amazon I, or no bumpy that one's bumpy and then these are fanfare and carnival but I forget which is which I ordered some orchid specific multiplication media from phytotech that I planted you know try out in one of my videos so I'm excited about that but other than that I mean some pretty normal stuff in here these are just my own plants this book plants from test tubes is like my bible um you can get a pdf online for free i don't know if that's legal or not but i have the physical copy which i like having for reference thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing my setup let me know if you have any questions or any recommendations for what i should film um i will be starting seeds in tissue culture i'm planning to tissue culture some bananas i have a separate video about making media for tissue culturing banana plants but if there are specific videos you want i will make them thank you guys so much for watching bye